So uh, that smoke there, uh, I'm, I'm dying some 220s now. So I did uh, my footholds, my 120s and 160s, and now I'm doing 220s. Um, it works good if you uh, if you uh, heat the water up with them in there, uh, and you know maybe bring it to a simmer and then but let it cool down with the trap still in there and take them out the next day. Um, my uh, 120s and 160s are much blacker than my footholds. Uh, I'm just gonna have some dinner and then I'm gonna work on. Uh, I gotta make some uh, make some make some mink stretchers as well as uh, a, lo a long one that's for uh, like a long mink stretcher which is better for uh, flushing the mink as well as a uh, long muskrat board for flushing the the muskrats but of course to actually stretch the muskrats I use the wire stretcher so that's my project after dinner I'm just gonna have a simple dinner with some rice and fish here as you've seen and uh, I'll uh, see you guys in the skin and shack after. Okay, so the sun's going down, but uh, I want to at least make my muskrat uh, flushing beam. So I'm making it out of this uh, this thin cedar. It's pretty thin, but uh, I'm not going to be putting too much torque on it. So first thing I did is I put a, it's seven inches wide, so I measured three and a half, and I put a line down the middle because that's and then I go for for harvester's auction. Pelt handling for profit. Okay, so in here they have everything you need to know about. I mean, once you know how to skin, the things you forget, they have in here. Okay, so muskrat. You can see at, at two inches down, it's three and a quarter, four inches down four and three eighths, seven inches down, five and a quarter. Okay, so, first thing you're gonna do is put marks at the, the intervals, and then you gotta divide each one of those in half, okay? So, you know, at seven inches down, I'm gonna go two and five eighths from each side of the middle center line. So, I can't do that with my camera in my hand, so, I'll, I'll do all that and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this first mark is an inch and a half down because that's just where I wanna, I wanna have some room to cut. I don't wanna cut all the way to the top, you know what I mean? So from there, that's my starting point. That's gonna be the nose, you know, like that. So this is two, four, seven, 12. So at, at two inches, it's three and a quarter. So that is uh, one and five eighths. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that. One and five eighths, so I'm gonna put a mark there and a mark at three and a quarter. So I made my marks, okay. Now I just need to connect the dots with uh, an arch. So I'm gonna do straight lines first and then, um, and then, uh, I have to just kind of sketch outside it to make it a nice smooth arch. And I'm cutting this with a chainsaw, so I'm going to cut it big at first, and then I will get it down uh, with a planer to the right line. So I, I connected all the dots, and you can see on the left, I've already made my arch kind of just by eye. From here down, it you can just go straight, because I mean, from there, it pretty much is straight. So I'll continue that, and then I'll uh, cut it with the chainsaw. Okay, so I already kind of warmed up my uh, chainsaw because uh, this little one it needs to warm up a little bit. Um, I made my lines here, and I'll I'll show you. How I cut on the outside, and you cut with the 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 top of the bar. Okay, so it's pushing away from you. One, it's so the board doesn't jump, and it, it, it tends not to splinter as much. But you just make sure you cut on the outside of the line. This is easy to carve down, and you can finish it up with your pocket knife or a planer or whatever. All right, I've done this before, so I'm just letting you know. So you can you can see what I'm doing, but you know what I'm doing. Go.
So you got to go like uh, more, not full throttle, but you got to keep the revs up. Otherwise it jumps too much. Okay. So I went pretty close to the line, but um, you know, cause I'm, I'm kind of confident, but keep your revs up and uh, follow through. Okay. And just stay outside the line. Cause it's easy to do. Uh, I mean, it's easy to fix, especially use cedar. If you're make, you know, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to make all my uh, all my Martin boards and everything. Well, my mink boards uh, will be the first use. They're the same boards, right? Um, other than the female mink. So, um, and you can kind of adjust them for a female Martin too, a little bit, make them a little bit narrower, especially around the head. Um, but not not too much. I mean, j just use the same boards. But anyway, so this is how I'm starting, and then uh, I, I think I'm actually just going to use my pocket knife or well, my uh, my belt knife because uh, that planer it needs a sharpening. It's not too good yet. But uh, a hand planer, if if it's nice and sharp, would do a better job probably. You can see I did a little bit of planing already on here, but the thing's not too sharp. I got some sandpaper to finish the deal off. All right. So pay attention to the way the grain goes, obviously, right? So you not you don't want to go like this. You always want to go like this because um, otherwise you splinter the board. Okay. Or before I bevel it, actually, I should I should finish my uh, my shape. Now when you're doing this part, you really want to uh, keep your arm stiff, you know, like a, it's a, a bold maneuver, I guess, is a way to uh, explain it. Now, as I've said a couple times already, this is cedar, okay? It's very easy to work with, and you can do a lot with sandpaper. The nose you want to thin a little bit more. This, this knife is very sharp. Which is a must. You can see the curls coming off, you know, it, it, you can tell it's sharp. Okay, so the, this is just, uh, it's 100 grit. This is cedar, so it's very soft. So you don't need to start with something too crazy. Uh, these are some, I picked these up off a construction site. I mean, it was where I was working. They were just on the floor, drywall, I already used them. The whole, trapping, you gotta save every way you can. If you want, you could go like this, but uh, a little quicker but it's harder on the sandpaper another nice thing about working with cedar is it smells nice so you can see already what I've done you know just real quick it's a uh, hundred grit with cedar it's just it works quick. And you won't need to go any finer than 100 grit. Now 
I'm sure if you had a belt sander and you were uh, you went easy, you know, I'm sure you could uh, do a better job uh, quicker. Uh, but I, I'm I'm showing you guys how I do it with what I have because um, I never bought any tools to do this. The whole point was to save money, so I'm just uh, uh, doing uh, this with what most guys would, most trappers would have in the bush, you know. Okay, so, you know, a little rough there, but it's, it actually feels smoother than it looks. So, uh, that's it. I'm done. Now, the only uh, other thing is you can cut it to length. This is longer than it needs to be. It's about uh, five and a half feet. Basically, how I use it is so, I mean, this isn't a stool, but so you sit on it like that. And so you cut it off right behind your ass there so that you can work like this and uh, scrape it. Because that's, that's how I use it, is I sit on it and scrape it like this. So then I, I skin it, hang it in front of me, and then I put it on the board right below and, uh, and flush it. So maybe some of you guys know, uh, have some better ideas or took or did the same thing and just did a better job but uh, that's how I do it so next thing I'll be doing is making uh, one for doing the mink and then I will be making mink boards so uh, by the way those are the only tools I used okay uh, plus to make the board I I, um, I used my bigger chainsaw and a chalk line that's it so I did it with this chainsaw, which I have ripped boards with that chainsaw before. Obviously the bigger one's faster. So a chainsaw, level, pencil, tape measure, headphones, planer, sandpaper, and pelt handling for profit. You can also find the board sizes online on the Fur Harvester's website.